Good morning. This morning is Wednesday, and today we are going to be doing a pool deck paver repair on Siesta Key for Siesta Key Luxury, a company that I do a lot of repair work for. They have uh, over 70 rental homes along Siesta Key and Lido Key in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get the trailer ready, and then uh, Ethan's going to go with the dump truck and get some sand, and then we're going to meet at the job and start get cracking on this pool deck repair. It should only take us one day. It's nothing huge, but they had a storm come through, and uh, I guess the whole pool deck was underwater. Everything was underwater, and so we have some sinking areas that we have to address. Grab this grinder, I'm gonna cut one of these street rails. Use my bandsaw. All right, let's use that. Whatever works. We need screwdrivers, I don't know what happened to all of our screwdrivers. We need flatheads. Hello, can I get a pack of waters and a bag of ice too, please? Yeah, you want circle pan water? Yeah, that's fine. Donut time. Alrighty. Let me show you guys what we're dealing with here today. So as you can see, we got some sinkage going on here. And what happened was there was a storm. It's right here and it's on the other side over there. There was a storm that came through and the canal here raised from storm surge up over this seawall and into here and this was all flooded out so that normally causes some problems with pavers and so today we are here to fix it so we have this area over there and this sunken area in here First thing first, I'm gonna get out this, these cuts that are along this pool edge and set them up on the coping so that we don't lose their place when we're taking all of these out. So it's flathead screwdriver time now. Ethan's here. Yeah, he knows what to do. So right here, I am 
taking out this border along the coping and setting it on the coping in the position that I took it out in so that it doesn't get lost when we're relaying it. It's actually pretty important to do or it'll get confused. At this point, I am going to take out the perimeter of where the skimmer box is and then I'll get to the skimmer box near the end so I can place it outside in a perfect circle like it is. Here I'm just pulling up the border like I was doing before and Ethan's grabbing it and setting it in place. I was trying to tell him here to set it off of the pad because I need some room to put sand in and we don't need it on that border so he just continues the pattern on the artificial turf. Well these are all fine right here on this edge. But these are, I'm going to have to take these up. Hey now, hey now. Gotta get it started with the screwdrivers. We can move to the pickaxe. Golly, that one don't want to move. I'm going to have to pop out a different one of the screwdrivers to get that one freed up. Let's try this guy. Yeah, this one's a lot nicer. And here I am doing the same thing I did on the other side of the pool deck. I'm starting by pulling up the pieces up against the coping and any cut ones I am leaving them on the coping in place where they were at. Um, there wasn't too many that I had to deal with on this side, just the turf side that were cut. Holy sinkhole! Hey, that nice little sinkhole. Oh. Right in the hot tub. At this point, I am raking out my sand, getting it ready to start compacting. You want to get it a little level. You don't want mounds and stuff right before you start compacting, or else it'll be a pain to start screeding. All right, I want to grab the actual compactor, though, and run it on this so it actually sinks it down. Yeah. These roots are so bad.
a concrete pad. So here I am going through and screeding with a paver just on the edges. I am getting the edges of the coping and then I will move around to the border on the other side and some of the pavers on the side here. Um, if you're screeding with just a level then this is a must. You kind of have to do this so you have a starting point. You know what height you have to be at. We do use screed rails in this video today. so. You don't have to do this when you're using street rails, but still, it makes your life easier if you just take the time and use a paver to screed around the edges. It also makes it easier if you use a paver that you can grab with one hand and not a full-size paver. So if you have a straight cut, it's best to use a straight cut for this. Oh! <laughs> uh. Nice. Dude, the sparks were burning my ankle up. So dig a trench right here with the shovel. Dig this one down lower on this side. Where's the little level? There it is. Perfecto. Slide the rig. This one, that other one might be long and it might be better. The one we already Yeah, it looks like it should be able to fit right there. Oh, baby. Come on. Money, 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 money. Actually, no. Do it behind, right where the skimmer's at. The breaking line the skimmer? Yeah, like that. Hard to tell over here because I ain't got really nothing to go off of. Do you want one of these pieces? To make really, what we need to do is get, grab a string line and run it from the top of here to there, and then this should be the string line. Just needs to be right on the top of a paver going over this pipe. The big one. I just got to scrape this area out first, and then we can move that long one right here over. Shovel scoop on this side and the shovel scoop right in the middle.
using screed rails, you're not going to be able to use, you're not going to be able to screed everything with the rails. So you're going to have to do a little bit of hand leveling in some areas, but that's part of the game. And then just take little shovelfuls and fill that in, and then use the that square edge tool to just pack it down and get it right. actually dig dig this out and I'll do that dig one right here on the corner so it's like that my mom is my valentine this year I'm going over to her house for some filet mignon later here put that in here Start down there, you're gonna get tight here. If this is a non cut, that we have to cut. I'd rather cut and already cut. Trying to see that's that one paver you're standing on. That one, so you're looking here double, so it's one, it's a long one, long dog, and then a square. Okay, so we are laying this pretty tedious. We are doing it by the picture that I took earlier because it is a random pattern, and sometimes when you get to the end you will have pavers that won't fit or you have to cut something new and we don't have any spares on this job to just start cutting pavers so we kind of are just going slow paver by paver ethan's looking at the picture telling me what to put down and then i'm putting it down it's pretty funny why do i see a long one going that way it's not it's split oh, okay a, it's hard to see but there's yeah. a cut and a cut so then, what am I looking at? What am I doing next? Square right here, and then a long one. Okay. And one of the mistakes that I made while taking the picture for this was I did it in the .5 zoom. So it's a wide angle picture. And it makes a lot of the pavers very deceiving. Like, the long rectangle ones look like squares in the picture. So there was... A lot of flip-flopping pavers once I put them down and we realized they weren't lining up right. Um, it, was, it I just wish I would have took it in the regular 1.0 zoom on the iPhone because the 0.5 zoom really messed us up a little. Is it a big square and not a rectangle? Or this? Instead of that, let's just take up that gap. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is actually. That's exactly what it is. Hey, don't do that. I hate when you do that, and I gotta put a little one in this gap. <laughs> rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. My brother. It's small rectangle, small rectangle, small rectangle. That's a small rectangle. Which That's is the a same. square. That's a square. That's a square. No, it's not, because there's a square right here. Which is these Dude, two. that's a big square. one. No, it's not. Square, square. Double.
now you go into the coping, the piece that goes around the, yeah. And then, uh, there's a big old gap right there. Oh. Because I thought that one was over there, so I think we might be missing a little piece. I just can't tell from the way the hose is on that piece. There it is, maybe. This one's already on. Yep, that makes more sense. Yeah, this was somewhere over there. So as you guys have probably noticed, this .5 angle picture, uh, <laughs> it wasn't the best. But we got it done nonetheless, and uh, we didn't have any weird funky gaps or um, anything we had to cut at the end of it, so it did pay off. So some of these skimmers can be a little tricky, especially if they have a grout lip that is on the inside of them, like a custom little grout lip. You have to put it in there perfectly for it to fit. Where that piece is right here, this is going to be the border right here. So I'm trying to figure so out. We don't have a big dog. No, we don't. Do we want to work our way that way and see what's left? Dang, that does look like a big dog, don't it? Yeah, let's just work from Maybe here. Up. That way. Let's go way. up and then we'll go over. So, of course, in the picture that I took, there was a hose laying along the walkway. And so it made it it's kind of difficult to see what pavers were in this corner. Um... So we just started working from the opposite way back towards it, and we finally figured it out. But, man, these pavers were tight. There was a lot of areas that were real tight. We had to shave some stuff off on the side. Whoever laid it did a good job originally laying it, that's for sure. One thing I'll have you do while I'm working on that over there is I need you need to put some sand under this paver on this top corner because it's low. Oh, yeah. So just take out this one so you can get to that one, and then take that out and just fill it up like that with sand to get it level. Jose calls this the Mexican compactor, you know why? Because he says they build houses like this in Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to oh no, you're good. All of this side, you're all good. We're just gonna get our tools out of there. But yeah, you can start chopping these trees down. We're just finishing up on that one Perfect. side over there. Perfect. Yeah. Got a little GoPro to video your work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah video pretty all good my at work. This. Jimmy. Thank you, I'm Tanner. Nice to Tanner, meet you, Jimmy. Good to meet you, bro. So, um, yeah, it's not that much, man. So I mean, I at first I was walking back. I was gonna be like, you know, ask whoever's truck was. Yeah, move. we can move that. It's not gonna be enough. But okay. I only got like six or ten limbs. Okay. So uh, it's my first time putting my eyes on the job, so I didn't know what I was getting into. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, uh, yeah. Fine. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course, man.
this your own business? Oh yeah, Sun Coast, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I need an estimate. Yeah. At my house. Okay. Um, you got a card or number? Yeah, yeah, I got a card on me right now. Yeah, we do pavers. Yeah, because I I'm, I'm looking at pavers, but I had a guy come out and he measured it. And he said it was 650 square feet, but I don't buy it. My whole house is only 750 square feet. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can come I out. Like a second opinion on it. Yeah, of course. Because he quoted me like six grand. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can come out and definitely All give right. you. A, I'll give you a call then. For awesome. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Of course. about the turf got a little bit of rocks in there but what can you do you get high tide you get some kayaks just slide right off oh, into yeah, the water give me a push Woo! Hey boss man, we're out of here. I left those doors propped open for you. All right man, hey I appreciate it. Yes sir. All right, we'll see you around. Yes sir, good to meet you. Good to meet you.